Hey guys, we're the Gentle Giraffes, and here's our demo of the Cranky Customer, also known as the Negative Review Generator. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about the team, the group of producers that came together and created this website, and also how to use the Cranky Customer and which technologies we use to build the system. Then the data sets and the type of model, and then the libraries used. Then here's our team. Hi, I'm Sushane. I loved uh, working on the training of the model because we could really see what the model actually created and it was really, really cool. Hey, I'm Max and I enjoyed refining the data, data using the Panda plugin uh, with Python. Hi everyone. And my favorite part of the project was filtering the data sets as well as training our team what the outputs were. I also enjoyed developing the website. Hey guys, I'm Kelly, and I really enjoyed gathering all the data sets and seeing how everything came together once we actually created the website. Hi, I'm Kate, and actually my favorite part of the project was also training our model. It took a really long time, but it was really cool to see how it actually worked. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm the instructor for this group, and I really enjoyed teaching you all the past few weeks and excited how it all came together. So as far as using our cranky customer model, so you simply input the establishment you want between different restaurant, fast food, travel, and then you choose your rating, either one, two, or three stars, submit a query, and then you have your output of the different types. And then as far as the technology we use inside of this model, so we use Kaggle for the data sets to train the model on different uh, customer reviews. We use Replit to uh, make our code for the website and other collaborative tasks. We used Google Collab for actually training the model and processing the data. And then we used Pandas for the plugin with uh, Google Collab to process the data. And this is just a little bit about our data set. So what we did was to train our AI to have the most diverse set of customer reviews. We gathered a total of five Kaggle data sets and each of them focused on a different industry. In total, after we trimmed away excess information and actually an overflow of ratings, our website contains over 23,000 customer reviews, each of which we collected and then merged from retail, restaurant, fast food, and destination companies. Some of our data sets clearly had more reviews than others, but we did our best to ensure they did not exceed about 3,000 ratings per one, two, and three star reviews, giving the cranky customer a better chance of randomizing the data when it actually ran. So just as an example, we have our clothing and retail data set. And as we mentioned in our previous presentations, we were able to narrow down all the data sets into just three columns of type, content, and rating. And here's just a sample review. And we did the same with destination and then the same with restaurant and fast food. that we model and used are GPT, GPT Note. We chose these models because they're good text generation models and it suited what it was about. Uh, we also used some libraries. And those were an LTK, which was for, um, it, it was an input stop words and punctuation. And that was necessary for the pre-processing of it. We also used Flask to connect our model to the website and Panda allowed us to edit and filter our data sets. All right, I'm going to give you guys a demo now. To run this. OK, so here's our website. We have the cranky customer. And the front page is where you um, choose your stuff, and you, it'll output three reviews. Um, we have our description of our model and some resources and links that we used. We also have our timeline for how this model came together. Um, we also have our team feature here, and I'm gonna show you guys how the model itself actually works. So for example, here you can have, um, you can choose one of these, let's say fast food, or um, we'll choose restaurant. And then you can choose your rating one, two, or three, we'll go one star here. And then we can submit our query. Oh, I have to rerun. Sometimes this happens. All right, we go restaurant and one start and submit our 
Safari, and in a few moments, it generates some reviews. So, for example, the first one, the real disappointment was our waiter. So remember, this is for a restaurant and one star. So these people, you can basically you your customer your customer support people. They can be trained off of these reviews, and they can know how to handle them. So another one is I've enjoyed eating out of this place over the past three weeks, never once in a couple of minutes. I love their food and I would say that they gotten some nice things, but the thing is, is that they're notable. The thing about that place is that you're not alone at night, they're always waiting. So some of the models, they don't, like some of the reviews, they're not the best, but it does output some pretty good ones. Like for example, this one, terrible food and service. Quality is good, but staff has no idea of how long this food will be warm and dry. And yeah, so that's pretty good. It gives us some good results for our model. Our goal with this was to improve customer satisfaction by helping companies train their employees to handle distressing situations calmly and address their issues effectively. Our data was, we have 20 over 23,000 reviews that our cranky customer is trained on, so it can generate nice reviews. And it also enables customer support teams to familiarize themselves with disgruntled customers, which helps them respond better. Um, so these are just some of the important resources we used. And you can check all this out on the website, which will be linked in the chat. And now I'm gonna go to the video. One sec, can't see anything. There. I, we can understand that you cannot deal with us. It's obvious that you don't have the capacity. We already explained that we don't do daily servicing because of COVID. If you can't accept that, that's too bad. I don't know what you want me to do because I can't do nothing. You this looks like a high stress environment, and I hope the staff knows how to handle this situation. How would your employees respond if they were in this situation? Would they scream right back at the woman or break down crying under the stress? Well, luckily for you, you don't have to wonder. With this AI, your employees will be well equipped to deal with the distressed customers in a calm and collected manner. Your employee won't scream, I don't have time to serve you, and still to say, I understand you're upset, but why don't you tell me what seems to be the problem? I will try my best to help you with anything that dissatisfies you. So what are you waiting for? Order now. New AI that helps train service employees for situations like these. Trained on thousands of examples, so you can train your employees thousands of times before they even step foot onto the register. But wait, there's more. If you order now, you can input the type of establishment so your employers have the correct training. Disclaimer, reviews do not represent actual product performance. This product is not a substitute for human judgment. The model may cause emotional responses. All right, yeah, and that is our, um, that's our cranky customer. Thank you guys for listening.